All right, you two. I want you to make this place look spotless. Remy mow the lawn. Jasper wash the floors. I don't want to. Make Remy do it. No, Remy's mowing the lawn. But it's dark outside, Mrs. Pickles. How am I supposed to see? Tape a flashlight to your head. I don't care. Adoption day is coming up, and you two better make this place look good. Whoa, adoption day is coming up? Oh, I can't wait to get adopted and get out of here. You're never getting adopted. You're dumb, ugly, and no one will ever want to adopt you. You can mop the floors. I'm going to bed. Later, loser. Ugh, I hate this place. I miss my mom and dad so much. Maybe someday I'll get a new family. I just want to feel like I belong somewhere. I don't hear the lawnmower. Just do what you get for nothing, loser. Because <sighs> I definitely don't belong here. Remy! What's up, Mrs. Pickles? Don't take out the trash. It stinks. I'm studying for school. Make Jasper do it. No, I said I want you to do it. Okay, fine. Huh? What's going on? Look, here they come. Excuse me, unfortunate child. Do you know where the orphan Remy is? Uh, yeah, that's me. Excellent. We're here to adopt you. What? No way. Me? Of course you. Now smile and wave to the paparazzi, dear. What is all this commotion? I... Oh, my gosh. Norman and Jean Caldwell. You're trillionaires. Uh, yes, we are. And we want to adopt Remy. Uh, you sure? I mean, he's kind of a loser. Oh, we're sure. Now come along, darling. Let's get you out of this place and away from that miserable woman. Hey, I'm only half miserable. Here we are, home sweet home. What the heck? You guys actually live here? Most of the time, this is one of our homes. We have about 10, right, honey? I thought it was 12. We hope you like it here, Remy. Like it here? I'm gonna love it here. Thank you guys so much for adopting me. I thought I was gonna be stuck in that orphanage forever. Oh, perfect, he's home. Sup, mom, dad, wait, who is this guy? Kurt, this is your new brother, Remy. What? No way. Nice to meet you, dude. Nice to meet you, too. I didn't know I was going to have a brother as well. I always wanted a brother. This is going to be sick. Good. Now let's get Chef to make us some lunch. How are you feeling, man? You look overwhelmed. This morning, I was just some poor orphan. And now I'm adopted by trillionaires? It's, it's kind of a lot. Don't worry, bro. I'll help you out. You're going to love being a trillionaire. I promise. What are we doing here? Well, if you're gonna be a trillionaire now, you need to look like one. So come on, got nothing to worry about. Yeah, you're right. I trust you. Let's do this. Oh no, Mr. Caldwell! Watch out, a paw has followed you in here! Get out, paw! Whoa, whoa, Gustav! Take it easy, man. This is my new brother, Remy. Oh yes, I saw on the news. We're gonna get Remy here some new clothes. Well, I'm not sure he'll find anything for him here, sir. Maybe the dumpster around the corner will be better. <laughs> Yeah, dude, this is a bad idea. Let's just go. Maybe you're right. It's a shame I'll never shop here again now. No, hold on just a second, okay? We can help this poor man out. I mean, it's your brother. Okay, come along with me. Let's get this over with. Uh, okay. Don't worry, dude. It's time for you to experience what it's like to be a trillionaire now. You're a Caldwell. Don't forget it. Just get whatever you want. So, uh, what do you think? You look great, dude. How do you feel? Kind of weird, but I feel kind of cool. Sick. Now, let's go get you a car. Wait, what? Whoa, this thing is fast. This is sick. I love this thing. Whoa, Remy, is that you? Yeah, dude, it's me. What's up, Scott? Oh my gosh, I almost didn't recognize you. Yeah, it's probably these fancy clothes, huh? Yeah, and the sick sports car. Dude, I knew you got adopted, but I didn't expect this. I know, I'm a trillionaire now. Kind of crazy, huh? Yeah, man, I'm super impressed. I'm really happy for you. Chia, well, I'm not happy for you. I was supposed to be adopted by trillionaires, not him. Well, the Caldwells came to adopt me. They even knew me by name. Wait, they knew who you were? Why? That's not fair. Just get over it, dude. Why don't you go sulk at your locker like you usually do? Shut up, Scott. You both suck. I'm going to be adopted by a rich family, too. And I'll be even richer than you. You'll see. Uh, just ignore him, man. He's obviously super jealous. Where is he? How poor is he, really? Whoa, what is all this? Dad? And here he is, my new son, Remy. Oh, uh, hi? I'm holding a press conference. Everyone wants to know you, son. You know, we'll just answer some questions together. Uh, yeah, sure thing. 
So, is it true you're an orphan and you're poor? Uh, yeah. My parents died when I was really young, and I was an orphan ever since. Okay, great. Now you're a trillionaire. How does it feel? Oh, he loves it. Yeah, it's tough adjusting to, but I think I like it. Sounds like you're deflecting. So you don't want to be a trillionaire? No, no, that's not it at all. I'm just happy to have a home and a family that cares about me again. So, Mr. Caldwell, is he going to Sterling Academy? Of course he is. Remy here is going to start at Sterling Academy next week. He'll be following in his old father's footsteps and going to a private elite school for trillionaires. That's all for now, guys. Thanks. What's wrong, Remy? Are you okay? Not really. I'm bummed out. I'm not going to be going to school with my friends. Do I have to go? It's tradition for Caldwell's to go to Sterling Academy. We have a reputation to uphold, all right? You'll make new friends and be in school with your brother. I don't really have a choice, do I? Nope. No, you don't. Here we are, man. Sterling Academy. So this is the fancy school for rich kids, huh? Yep, kids here can be kind of stuck up sometimes, though. But there are some cool people here, too. Oh, Kurt! That's Hamilton Beauregard. He's one of the stuck-up kids. Wow, so this is your new brother, huh? Yep, this is Remy. Well, tell me, which buildings have you bought lately? What? I haven't bought any buildings, dude. No. What about a yacht? You probably have a yacht. Nope, no yacht. Well, so you're just bad at being rich, huh? Because you're not a real Caldwell. Once trash, always trash. Okay, Hamilton, enough, dude. No, it's okay, man. He can say whatever he wants. I really don't care. You'll never be accepted here. Everyone knows you're poor, and we won't forget it. Wow, you're right. Totally stuck up. He's just jealous, man. His dad's only a billionaire, so he's hated me for years. Don't let him get to you. He hates you? Yeah, I'm kind of the richest kid in the school, so of course he does. Now, come on, I'll show you around. Okay, Remy, Kurt said some poor, stupid billionaire kid picked on you for not having a yacht, huh? So we're getting you one right now. Are you serious? Of course I am. I won't have my sons get picked on by billionaires. It's embarrassing. Just pick one, dude. That one there kind of looks like mine. You should get it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass, guys. Pass on a yacht. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine, Dad. I just don't really want a yacht. I don't even think I'll ever need one, honestly. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't be stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm serious. I don't want it. Okay, Remy, let me be honest with you. I can tell you're having a hard time adjusting to this lifestyle. Yeah, I have, honestly. I mean, I appreciate everything you're offering me and giving me, but I just think maybe I'm not meant for this life. Maybe I'm not meant to be a trillionaire. Nonsense! You're a Caldwell, whether you like it or not! Now, let me go find that salesman. We're getting you the biggest yacht they have! Does he always do that? Pretend like he's not listening to you? Yeah, sometimes. I just think he wants the best for us, that's all. And I think that's for me to decide, not him. I, I can't do this, man. I need to clear my head. Wait, what should I tell Dad? Tell him to pick whichever yacht he wants, since he loves deciding things for me. Why wouldn't he just listen to me? Why did he have to buy me that dumb yacht? Ugh, these stupid clothes. Or these stupid cars. None of this stuff matters anyways. Maybe I overreacted. I'm sure Kurt was right. He's just trying to do what's best for me. I don't know. I just feel like I have a family again. I think I'm somewhere I belong, but it doesn't feel like it's with the Caldwells. Not yet, at least. Yo, dude. Scott. Hey, man. I'm happy to see you. Why are you talking to yourself? What are you doing? Yeah, I'm just going through it right now. Well, let's talk about it. Uh, go to the movies. Want to come with me? Yeah, but I have an idea. Dude, renting out the whole movie theater? All right, now that was sick. Yeah, it felt good sharing this money with someone instead of just wasting it on myself. You know what? I think you should give the Caldwells a chance. Doesn't seem like they're bad people. Yeah, I think you're right. It was good to see you, man. It was like old times. Yeah, it was. Oh, guess what? I heard Jasper finally got adopted by some rich family. He was taken out of school. No way. I wonder who adopted him. Hey, Kurt, sorry for storming off like that the other day. No need to be sorry, man. I get it. Mom and dad are extra. But you're right. They mean well. But I'm not going to change who I am. You shouldn't. You should do what you want to do. Exactly. I think I know what I want to do with my money. Hello, Kurt. Hello, poor. What do you want, Hamilton? Well, I wanted to introduce you two to my new brother, Jasper. Cha! Told you I was getting adopted by a rich family. 
Oh, man, I should have known. The worst family on the planet would adopt the worst person in the orphanage. Shut up, idiot! Jasper knows what it's actually like to be rich, unlike you. Sure, I just bought my first Lambo yesterday, and tomorrow, I'm buying a Taco Blocks! Wow, good for you, dude. Now, leave us alone. Yeah, I know, I'm awesome. And now you know, I'm better than you. Yeah, he is better than you. He's gonna fit in with the rest of us, unlike you. Hamilton, everyone knows your dad is barely a billionaire. If anyone doesn't fit in here, it's you. You don't say that! This is pointless, dude. Let's go. Yeah, I don't even know why Caldwell's adopted him, honestly. It's pathetic. Dude, I said the last time, leave me alone. No, you need to know, you're a nobody, and no one's ever going to love you. Not even your parents loved you. That's it. Ha! Oh! oh I'm telling on you. <laughs> well, you've certainly made your mark at Sterling Academy. First kid to be sent home for punching a poor little kid in the face. Well, he's the one that started it. I don't want to hear it. Hopefully, you can put that behind you. We cannot ruin your Caldwell reputation. I was defending myself from some terrible rich jerks at school. I'm sorry if that ruins your reputation. Yeah, well, I don't know why you're being so stubborn, all right? You're worse than my lawyer. I don't even know why you adopted me. Is that what this is all about, son? Yes. Tell me, why did you adopt me? Me specifically. <sighs> Your mother and I wanted to give someone a family, a good life. We heard you lost your parents in a terrible accident. Yeah, the apartment we lived in was torn down by accident. It was supposed to be the building next to it. I was at school and my parents were home. They didn't even make it out in time. Yeah, well, your mother and I made the choice to adopt you, okay? We heard that story, so we wanted to help you and give you a new life. That is why we did it. Wow, thanks. It means a lot to actually hear that. Kids at school were saying I'm never going to fit in and I don't belong, and I thought this might have been a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. You do belong here. How about I have the chef make us something to eat, huh? Yeah, that would be great. So you're going to give them a chance? They are good people, Scott. They care a lot about their money and their reputation, but they're good people. Well, I'm happy for you. Now let's see this movie. It's part two. I can't wait. Man, why is this guy always everywhere? Whoa, Jasper, you look <laughs> ridiculous, dude. Thank you, Skull. What do you think you're doing here anyway? We're just hanging out. We're going to the movies. Well, you can't anymore, so just turn around and walk away. I just bought this theater. You bought it? Yeah, with my new family's money, too. I'm really fitting in with the Beauregards. Well, good for you, man. I'm really glad you found a family that likes you. Yeah, and you're nothing special, Remy. I can't stand how jealous you are of me. I'm not. Yeah, you are. I knew you liked coming here, Remy. So that's why I bought it. So I can ban you forever. <laughs> Great. Before you were a total jerk. And now you're a total jerk with money. Shut up and just get out of my movie theater, all right? Come on, Scott. We can find something else to do. So, like, what should I do next? Should I, like, buy an arcade or something? Yeah, whatever. Just buy it. Don't you even care about getting back at him? He called me a jerk with money. He made me look stupid. Honestly, it's all just so boring. Just relax, bro. No, I can't relax, bro. I need to put Remy in his place. I want to make him hurt. Well, I know how we can hurt him. We rich people love gossip and drama. And luckily, my mom tells me everything she hears. So what, dude? I don't care about that stupid stuff. Well, I don't know if it's true, but my mom heard a rumor about the Caldwells and why they really adopted Remy. Oh, really? Then tell me everything. I really like your idea, man. I have your back. Thanks, dude. I just hope Dad does. Okay, Remy. I canceled the meeting for this, so what am I doing here? Well, I know what I want to do with my money. I want to invest in some real estate like you. Great! Love to hear it, son. So, is this? Yep, I'm gonna buy and invest my money into my old orphanage. You can buy any building or business in town, invest in any company, and you wanna invest in this one. Why? Because this was my home for a long time, and I know how tough it was to be an orphan. I can make sure this place has all the funding it needs. Oh, jeez. Uh, would uh, this make you happy? More than a yacht or another car. I really like Remy's idea, Dad. It means a lot to him. 
And I guess it would be great for the Caldwell reputation. You know what? I approve. I'll get everything started for you. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm late for golf with the mayor, all right? The mayor. See you at home, boys. Attention, fellow rich people. I, Jasper Beauregard, have a special announcement. Everyone come to the auditorium immediately. What the heck is this about? I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. Good. Our special guest has arrived. Oh, great. You all know that Remy Caldwell was adopted, right? And I'm guessing many of you wondered why. I know I have. <laughs> well, I finally found out the truth. Truth? What truth? The Caldwells adopted you to fix their reputation. They are the ones who tore down your parents' apartment. What? No. No, that can't be true. Kurt? Well, I, I don't know. I have no idea, man. Cha, it's so true. So how does it feel, Remy, to know they don't care about you at all? They adopted you so they wouldn't look like terrible people, but they are. Ha 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 No, Remy. Hey, Remy, wait. Dear, I think I'm going to buy that private island after all. Good investment, honey. The kids will love it, and I'll finally get the tan I want. Remy, what are you doing home? You should be in school, young man. You lied to me about why you adopted me. Honey, you're upset. Let me have Chef make you a- No! I know the truth. You two were the ones that tore down my family's home. So you adopted me to fix your reputation. Who told you that? Jasper did. And then he told the whole school. Great. Beauregard's new kid. So it's true then, isn't it? Yes, it is. We looked like monsters after taking down that building. And after, news of your parents broke out. The public hated us for years. So we thought adopting you would fix that. Wow, I'm just so, so furious right now. I'm not just some fancy car to make you two look good. I'm a person with feelings. Remy, please. No, no more. All I wanted was a family. One that cared about me more than their stupid reputations. I need to go. Honey, where are you going? I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. How's that for your reputation? Whoa, that's crazy. Are you okay? Not really. Can you come and get me? Yeah, don't worry, dude. I'll be right there. Remy, stop. Kurt, I don't want to talk right now. You don't have to, okay? Just, just listen. I talked to mom and dad. They aren't my mom and dad. I know, okay? What they did was kind of messed up. Really messed up, man. They made me think they cared about me when they only cared about themselves. Yeah, I know. And I want to apologize, dude. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I really don't want to hear it right now, dude. I know, but I am sorry. I always wanted a brother, dude, and I felt like I finally found one with you. If you think mom and dad don't care about you, that's fine. But I do, man. Thanks, Kurt. But that can't change what they did. Can you just come home? Maybe we can talk about this. Hey, Remy, let's go. I can't go home, Kurt. I don't think that place is my home anymore. It's all over the news, dude. But you're the Caldwell's newest scandal. Well, I guess their master plan of fixing their reputation backfired. This sucks. I know you're hurting. You're my best friend. I hate seeing you like this. You know how lonely I've been my whole life without my family, and I thought things were starting to change. But I guess Jasper was right. Uh, don't listen to him. Jasper's a jerk, Remy. He always has been. Here's some hot chocolate. Just take tonight, get some sleep, and think about this later. You can always stay here if you want. Thanks, Mr. Smith. I can't believe I have to go back to that dumb rich kid school tomorrow. I'll have to deal with Jasper all day. Why don't you just come to school with me tomorrow? We'll get you back in. It'll be like old times. Yeah, you know, I think I'd like that a lot. Oh, good. You're home. Did you find Remy? Yeah, I did. Then where is he? He's not coming home. Oh, no. This is terrible. The story's all over the news. We need to get him back here so we can turn this rumor around. It's not a rumor if it's the truth. What has gotten into you, young man? I'm mad. You two lied to me. We did what we thought was best. For Remy and our family. No, just for you, not Remy. You guys heard him so bad that now he's probably never coming back. He'll be back, all right? He'll get over it. I've always wanted a brother, so I wouldn't feel so alone in this big, huge house while you guys were off spending money and going to parties. And now, he's gone. Stop being so dramatic. You're upset about all this bad press we're gonna get. That's what it is. You guys just don't care, do you? You know what? I'm done too. What? 
Yeah, I'm gonna be with my brother instead. Not you too! Please stop! So, first day back, how do you feel? Well, I'm glad to not have Jasper or Hamilton to deal with, that's for sure. I had no idea how bad this school really was. Yeah, man, it's kind of rough here. School's got no fun day, and I heard they're gonna cut art class next semester. What? Man, that sucks! You know, if I was still a trillionaire, I would do something about this. Well, who knows? Maybe you will be again. Yeah, I doubt it, dude. Uh, hey, Remy. Kurt? What are you doing here? Look, I know you're probably mad at me, but I got into a fight with mom and dad, and I left too. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I just couldn't see for so long how selfish they really are until now. And I can't stand it. So I bought myself a house nearby and I wanted to know if you would live with me. Me? Yeah, dude. What do you say? Well, uh, dude, it would be better than my couch, you know? Yeah, I I'll do it. I don't blame you for anything, man. We're good. Thanks, dude. Now you should come check the place out. I think you'll like it. Whoa, dude, this place is really nice. You think so? Oh yeah, I'm very impressed, but I'm surprised. Surprised about what? Well, I feel like your dad would say something like, This house is too small for a call dwell. What will people think when they see this tiny home? Yeah, probably. I could have gotten a bigger house, but I figured it would just be me and, you know, maybe you, so I didn't want to go overboard. Oh, I'm proud of you. You're finally doing things you want to do. Yeah, I learned that from you. Oh my gosh, this place is a shoebox! Dad, how did you find me? I track all expenses coming in and out of our family bank accounts. I wanted to investigate the purchase that you just made. Well, here it is. This is my house now. Come on, Kurt. This house is for normal people. Ugh. See, I was right. He hasn't changed at all. No, he hasn't. Dad, I think you should go. Go? But I just got here, and I wanted to see you, Remy. I think we should talk, son. I really don't want to talk to you. Well, you're gonna have to forgive me eventually. You two are my sons, my boys! I'm not your son. Just go, Dad, before you make things worse. Fine, I'll go. By the way, this house is a terrible investment, Kurt. I taught you better than this! Terrible! I know it always makes me feel better, dude. Video game shopping. Oh yeah, me too. You know, I knew I liked you, Kurt. Yeah, this was a good idea. Something to get my mind off of things. So what should we do? How about I buy a PS5 and you guys can pick the games? Oh, sweet. Ew, what's this? What are you doing here? We're minding our own business. Yeah, and you should do the same, Jasper. I wasn't talking to you two. I don't talk to poor people. I was talking to Kurt. What do you want, Jasper? Just want to know why you're wasting your time with a sad, poor loser like Remy. You could try to tear us down, dude, but Remy's still my brother, no matter what you say. You should just get lost. You might have a rich family now, but that means nothing. At the end of the day, real family counts. And I found mine, these guys right here. And I don't think you'll ever find that. That's right. Oh, burn, Jasper. Ja, I did find my family. And they're rich and will do anything I want. You still think you're better than me, don't you? I don't need to think that. I don't need to think about you at all anymore. Ugh! I'll show you you're not. You two out of the arcade now. What the heck, dude? I just bought it, so get lost. Ja, you two need to get up and get out. Oh, great. Let me guess. Ja, I just bought this place too. And now you're banned. Bye-bye. Dude, that guy is just buying everything in town just to kick you out of them. This has to be the most childish thing he could do. Yeah, like a baby who won't let anyone play with his toys. Yeah, he's got serious issues, but honestly, I don't care. You'll care? Soon you'll be banned from everywhere in town. So what? I'm not gonna let him get to me. He can't keep this up forever. Seriously, his family has money, but not infinite money. They're gonna run out sometime soon enough. Thanks, guys. Knowing I've got you two makes dealing with this whole lot easier. It's not about where we hang out, but it's about who we're with, right? Yeah, Jasper can buy all the places he wants, but he can't buy friendship like this. Absolutely. You're stuck with us, Remy. Jasper doesn't stand a chance. I wanna buy the Chipotle, the Apple Store. <laughs> what? What do you mean I can't? I don't have any money? That's stupid! I'm a burrow guard! Yeah, about that, you're not. Hamilton, I just try to buy more property, but the dude at the bank said I don't have any money! You don't. Mom and Dad have cut you off. 
What? They can't do that. They can, and they did. And they told me to kick you out of the house. What? Why? Because you're spending all of our money, and they hate it. Now get lost. But, like, I thought we were brothers, dude. We'll never be brothers. Get it through your thick head, okay? You're just like Remy, a poor loser that no one cares about. You'll never be a part of the family. Security! Yeah, brush. Take out the trash, okay? Yeah, whatever. No, no, stop! I can't be poor again! No! Shut up! I hate your voice! You're so dumb! I know this school really needs some help, Teacher Rufus. I know that's right. I tried to help, but they took burritos and guacamole off the menu, y'all. And that's just wrong. And they're officially going to cart the art program? Yes. And they may have to shut down the school too, y'all. Don't worry, Teacher Rufus. I think I know what to do. Hey, man, I got your text. What's up? I know you've been looking to invest some of your money into something good, right? Yeah, man. I saw how you affected the orphanage, and I thought doing something like that would be cool. Okay, so hear me out. What if you and I buy the school and give them all the funding it needs, just like we did with the orphanage? That's a good idea. I like it, but dude, this is going to be super expensive and I don't have that much money left. Well, I'm open to suggestions. Well, we could get dad involved. I'm open to every suggestion, but that one. Dude, mom and dad's reputation is in the gutter right now. You'd probably jump at this idea. That's exactly my point. It's not about that. It's about helping people. I know, it's just for the school. You don't have to forgive him or anything, but it might be our best option. Please, Rammies, think of the guacamole. Okay, okay, we'll go talk to him. Cynthia, send in my last meeting of the day, please, and do not ever let Quimby back into my building. Let's just get this over with. Boys, you're my last meeting? Yeah, we are. I'm so happy to see you two. Uh, how are you? Your mother and I miss you both. We're not here to make up with you, Norman. We have an idea to pitch to you, and I think you'll like it. The public school in town has basically lost all their money. They might shut down soon if something doesn't change. Okay, your point? The idea is easy, Dad. We buy the school with your help. We give it all the funding it needs, and it can still stay open. Plus, it would look good for your reputation, saving the school. The town will think you're a hero. Well, that does sound interesting, but this whole thing would make you happy, Remy? Kurt? It will. Oh, please. Don't pretend like you actually care about my happiness. You never did. Yes, I did. You only thought about yourself and what others thought about you. You just wanted to wipe away the guilt of taking my parents away from me. Hey, ease up, Remy. We're trying to make a deal here. I'm not making any deal until you boys come home. Yeah, I knew this wasn't going to work. We're not making a deal with the devil. Remy, you're upset. I get it. Think of the school, dude. It's the only way. No, this was a stupid idea. Let's go. We can do this without him and his money. Remy, wait. So, Dad, what's it going to be? Are you going to help us or not? Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry. I was adopted by the people who took you from me, and it hurt so much. I thought they really cared about me. I thought I found where I finally belong, but I was wrong. I don't know if I belong anywhere. That's not true, dude. You belong with us. Kurt, why did you bring them here? They have something to tell you. Yes, we do. Congratulations, Remy. Congratulations for what? I decided. I've gone through with buying the school and helping them out. Of course you are. It's going to save your reputation. No, we're doing this because it means so much to you. We hope it shows how much we really care about you. You guys don't care? You just want to fix your image. No, we don't care about that anymore. We can see that now and we know the truth. We were wrong to adopt you just to fix our image. But what happened was an accident, and we felt awful for what happened. And we realized that after we met you, because we cared about you, son. You actually mean it? We do, and we're sorry, Remy. Please, we hope you can forgive us. And maybe we can be a family again. Well, that's all I really wanted. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to the men behind this vision. My sons, Remy and Kurt! Thanks, Dad. And thank you everyone for coming. We're gonna make sure this school stays open and it's fully funded. And if it's ever in trouble again, I'll be here to help take care of it. Okay, I accept this monums, y'all. Cause this school gonna stay open for evers. And we gonna name this school a new name, y'all. Caldwell Academy! Yes! 
It should have been mine. All of it should be mine. I'm gonna cause a destruction and steal that money. <laughs> it's over, Jasper. Oh, I hate you, Remy. Yeah, you can hate me in jail. No!